One of the things that we suggest doing first is uh, on the left hand side in the instruction pane is reading through the summary. Now the summary uh, attempts to provide uh, the project with the sense of realty. So it uh, provides a lot of background information, uh, maybe what the student is going to be doing for the website, for whom they're going to be doing it for, and, and why they may be doing it. Um, this is to help set up a background uh, to the project to give it a sense of uh, real life application. We also suggest that the student open up the file system and browse the different types of files that are within the project. Some files like there are some projects like this one uh, have between five and 10, 11 files and some may range into the 20s. So it's a good idea to open up the file system and get a good idea of what you have um, and, and browse the contents of those files. That may give you a couple hints as to what you may be uh, expecting in this project. Opening up the CSS file, I can see that uh, I can see that there are a couple uh, comment blocks that show that I'm probably going to be adding lots of styles. I can also see here uh, that there's a, a text file, and opening that up, it looks like um, there's some there's some data here that I will probably likely be copying and pasting uh, somewhere in the website. So after you've done that, uh, another thing that we suggest is that you open up the, 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 the website uh, in its current state by uh, in, a, in a natural browsing environment by clicking on this expand button in the upper right corner of the screen. This will give you a good sense for what type of website you are starting with uh, that you were provided and it will allow you to play around with the website a little bit to see if you have any default functionality. And see here, it doesn't seem like we have any type of functionality, we just have uh, the main screen. And it's a good idea to close this window and go back and compare uh, the website we are given to the website that we are uh, trying to create. As I can see here, it looks like that I'm going to be adding a pretty big table onto the home page of our website, which would correspond to the tables.css file sheet, uh, style sheet that we that we explored earlier.